Hey, Jeremy. Top Sorry. Gear's Jeremy Clarkson returning home to waiting photographers after his suspension by the BBC for what they have called a fracas. But now the allegations against him have taken a new direction. People in the hotel bar where it happened say he used foul language and told a colleague he'd have him fired in a row over food. I had heard that they come from down south. The Ward family from Leeds told me they were excited to be on holiday last Wednesday at the same Yorkshire Dales hotel as the Top Gear team. That is, until the presenters arrived at half past nine at night. Jeremy Clarkson come through and said, any chance of a selfie, uh, Jeremy? And he says, no, not what day that I've had today. So I more or less sat down with my tail between my legs. Within minutes, they say, Clarkson directed a torrent of four-letter abuse at a colleague. He hadn't done his job properly. Um, it was ridiculous that there was nothing to eat um, and that he would... Obviously, there's lots of expletives in between all this um, and that he... Um, he would, he would be losing his job. He would see to it that he would lose his job. Yeah. Just the shock of, how can someone be so rude? You know, and, uh, the fact of not having his photograph taken, we understood that completely, and they must get fed up with that, but it was just the swearing and the length of time and this poor guy that he were ripping into. Top Gear is the BBC's biggest global brand, worth more than £50 million a year. But with Clarkson suspended, the next three episodes have been scrapped. More than three quarters of a million people have signed a petition for him to keep his job. The only big Top Gear fan among the Ward family thinks he should. He's brash. We know, we know what he's like. He's been in trouble before. I think he'll be in trouble again. But I don't think he'll lose his job at BBC. I think he'll continue to do that job because without Clarkson, there's no Top Gear, I don't think. Among the holiday snaps the wards took last week of the Top Gear cars and the snow is one last picture. The patio, the morning after the row at an empty hotel. A distant figure with his back to the camera. Jeremy Clarkson, alone and facing an uncertain future. Gerard Tub, Sky News, Leeds.